Hi everyone, this is Michael from the Emporium Outdoors, and I wanted to give you a quick update on my Princecraft 140 BT. So I recently took a fishing trip about six hours north to a place called Pierce Lake in Saskatchewan. It was a three day trip staying at the Pierce Lake Lodge, and it was planned a couple of months in advance. The weather was forecast to be rainy, but we got away with it. It wasn't too bad. I think one day we had some drizzle. Apart from that, it was good. We decided just to take one boat as there was three of us and that was the Princecraft 140 BT with a Honda 25 horse outboard motor. For seating in the boat I have a cushioned seat up front that's rotatable and I sit on the bench obviously close to the tiller so I can steer the boat and in the middle we decided to bring just a compact camping chair for the person to sit in the middle of the boat and balance things out. So Pierce Lake is around six kilometers across and ranges from a couple of feet deep all the way down to 150 feet deep and that gives home to a variety of fish including pike, walleye and lake trout. So the layout of the boat worked really well for three guys and we're all north of 200 pounds each. We'll just leave it at that. However to get the boat up on plane with three guys we had to scooch someone forward to kind of balance out the boat with the Honda 25 horse on the back. In all honesty if I was rebuilding this setup I would probably go for a 30 horse motor even though the boat's only rated for 25, I think 30 would be a much better fit. With two people in the boat, I don't find I have a problem. I think with three guys in gear, I think the bigger motor would certainly be a better fit for this particular boat. I think using the camping chair in the middle of the deck floor was a great idea, and it really balanced out the boat while we are fishing, and it was comfortable for the third person. So this is the second day of fishing on Pierce Lake, and we're doing pretty good. I caught a pike, the other guy's called pike, a walleye, but no lake trout today. But we're probably gonna have a break for lunch and then head back out. But everything's working great. The new St. Cross or Croys, whichever way you pronounce it. Uh, fishing rod is working out really well. I do like the action on it. It uh, seems to be a quite a fast action rod, but it really gives you that ability to flick and get those lures out quite a ways. But yeah, the weather's nice. The lake, as you can see behind me, is quite calm, which this morning it was a little bit windy, but so far so good. So hopefully we'll be heading out again very shortly and catch some bigger walleye or maybe even some lake trout. So what you got there, Bert? Got a pike, a northern pike, not a, as opposed to a southern pike, it's a northern pike. <laughs> You notice how far north he is? Little guys are the feisty ones, right? He's got a wound on his side. Pierce Lake Lodge has its own launches from its campground and it also has cabins for hire. The bay where it's located on the southeast side of the lake is pretty sheltered from weather and becomes very shallow towards the edges. There are sharp drop-offs as you get further out into the lake which makes fishing there actually quite enjoyable. I did find the dock situation very unsatisfactory. I would have preferred to have some better docks further out so you could leave your boat in the water overnight. However this was discouraged by the campground and I just felt it made it awkward. The boat launches themselves were also pretty badly beaten up and that was a bit of a challenge trying to get the boat in and out each day. So this is a closer look at the St. Croix rod that I'm very happy about. I paired it up with a, an Akuma reel that I've had for probably over 20 years and the program works really well. This is a six foot six model and like I say, it has a fast action. It gives you lots of sensitivity while fishing, and it also gives you the ability to flick those lures out quite a ways when you're casting off. I really like this Akuma reel. It's very comfortable to use, and I like the handle that has the double grip. The other nice feature about this rod is the butt on the end of the handle. It's what I call a fighting butt. I've seen on other rods. It just makes it comfortable to use two hands to really flick that rod and get the lures out quite a distance. The rod comes in two sections which I don't need to break down in the boat and it's also extremely light coming in at 3.7 ounces. I must also mention on my last video I did some upgrades to my boat trailer and one of the things I added was these boat guides. I was a bit skeptical about because they seem quite light duty 
However, they work amazingly well, and I can appreciate how they're constructed now. And the spare tire and spare tire carrier gave me great peace of mind as I was on that long journey north, that if I did get a puncture with the trailer, I would be able to fix it by the side of the road. So the upgrades were extremely worthwhile. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out. It'll be a couple of videos back from this one. So I very much enjoyed the trip out to Pierce Lake in Saskatchewan. It was a great opportunity to hang out with my best friends and do some fishing. We did have a bit of a competition to see who caught the biggest and most fish and I didn't win. I actually came last. So I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.